From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening on Evenings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check of 2021 tonight. We'll go over the breaking news and the three-part process. Number one, we'll be going over the fourth stimulus check and why those Democrats may be giving you more checks. Then we'll be going over the recon and we'll go over why the recon will be giving you additional sums of money on top of a stimulus check. And then we go over the breaking news, a lot of breaking news about the drafting, the voting, the dates, and one of the most nemesis group of people from 2020 is back. I have their breaking news. You're not going to hear this anywhere else. It just happened minutes ago. Then we cut to this stimulus, which eats up this fall, with another stimulus check. But more importantly, the raising up of your benefits lifetime. My SSI and SSDI beneficiaries have been waiting for a very long time for all this SS200 money. Well, this is even better than this, and I have all the incredible great news. Then we go with the big money that viewers continue to get. Nisi got $22,000. John got $12,000. It's a big night where you can get all this big money, and I'm sure you're going to get it. We're going to go all the all the details, starting right here, right now, on this big evening's Alouette. a beautiful day. How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. It's been beautiful here in LA today. It, it was a little bit muggier earlier, but then settled down. Nice onshore breeze from the coast. Um, the birds were chirping. Uh, you know, it feels like springtime, but in the summer. So it's so far it's so good. But I have seen some of you have had um, very difficult hot temperatures. So jump in the live chat. I'd love to see where you're tuning in from. And how's the weather? In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021 tonight, a lot of breaking news. Number one, we'll be going over that monthly stimulus check the Democrats represent they're going to give you and why they may end up giving you more months of checks. Then we'll go to the recon process and the recon and understand why that recon has gotten so delicious and why there may actually be a lot more money in there for you than initially thought. Then we go to something you're going to see for the first time really on this evening's broadcast. A lot of breaking news as the problem creators are back. <laughs> creating problems, uh, but problems that we're not going to worry about. I'm going to go over what they said just minutes ago and also understand for you to know how they get the voting, how they get the bill, how they get the vote, how they get the drafting, and what you need to know about what's happening this week. I'll have all the details so you're an informed viewer across the board. We also cut to fifth stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime. Boy, you've been waiting for this. This was SS200. This is actually better. And finally, it's coming through. We'll have all the details about that fifth stimulus heating up this fall for raising your benefits. And then we go to the big money that viewers continue to get. Nisi getting $23,000. John getting $12,000. And this is Adelaide, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. I'm next back with you with Overnight's Crypto right after the show is over at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Then Evening's Crypto at 7 o'clock. And Sir Loin back at his new time slot. Move on over at 8 p.m. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Fastest growing channel there is. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for yesterday being our one most watched day in several many, many months. Also, like this video. Every like helps and ensures you get some you'll play. <sighs> or something like that. And consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats represent you're going to get starting right now. House bill, Senate proposal, slightly different. And we're going to go over how those differences are played out in the calculations. Here we go. House bill, pandemic plus one year, set a proposal, July to December. House bill, 1,000 the first month, and then, excuse me, 2,000 the first month, then 1,000 thereafter. Senate monthly unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh my goodness, deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, $12,000 a person. Or $1,400 over six months, $80 for $100 a person. Now, Here's what you need to know, is that this number is suddenly getting really quite different. What's going on? Well, a week ago, we had thought that the legislators may contend the pandemic is over for legislative purposes because, hey, it, things were just looking that way. And now it's no longer the case. L.A. County saying the pandemic's not over. Warren Buffett 
head of Berkshire Hathaway saying the pandemic's not over. The airlines saying the pandemic's not over. Well, that's the case. Then the House bill would not be just 12 months of checks, which would be $13,000, but rather pandemic plus one year, which is a lot more than $13,000 compared to this. Wow. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House or Senate. House or Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. I think you're going to be surprised. I know my opinion changed. I want to see your opinion. House or Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Things changing by the minute on this channel. A lot of breaking news on this recording tonight. The fourth stimulus check would come to individuals across the board. The Democrats represent that individual who got a third stimulus check would get a fourth stimulus check. Democrats represent that single individual, 75000 or less, would get a fourth stimulus check. Democrats represent that a family, uh, that a married couple, 150000 or less, would get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Democrats represent that a family of four would get a forced stimulus check, quadruple it. And Democrats represent that a beneficiary like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits would get a forced stimulus check. There you go. The, de the forced stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. And the Democrats represent that forced stimulus checks will be the same amount for everyone, including adult dependents. But the forced stimulus check is monthly. It does not come in waves. So if you do see the check at the hair salon tonight and it's getting too wavy, that hairstyle, and you look over and say, uh, it looks sort of like Mitt Romney-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and the check doesn't find that funny. I found it funny, but the check doesn't find it funny. Don't, don't take it out on the check. You're so rude. Uh, that was a compliment. He has nice hair. I just, <laughs> it's not a root check. It just, you know, has interesting hairstyle. So there you go. The check would come in the month of July. The Democrats represent for the month of July. And in the month of August, for the month of August, the Democrats represent. And yes, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said over a thousand times, a thousand times, that the final vote, not the first vote, but the final vote would be by July 4th. It didn't happen, but you can still get a check in the month of July. I'm going to explain to you in the third part of this video what's going on. In the second part of the video, first, we'll be going over the two path items, the recon and the bipartisan, and why this recon that has reportedly, allegedly, the stimulus checks in there could be giving you a lot of other money in there. And we have new indication today about that as well. In the third part of this video, we'll be going over the bill, the writing, the voting, the days, the calendar. And, of course, my most favorite group of people, the problem creators. They're back. <laughs> They're back since afternoon's L.A. They're into evening's L.A. They had to give me something to just, you know. I told you they were going to be back. And they are. Uh, yeah, this is the greatest hits album or something. Ugh, goodness. <laughs> Don't, nothing to worry about them. Uh, but first, here's a preview of the second half of this video. It's Fist Stimulus, and it heats up this fall with the raising up of your benefits lifetime. I've had uh, one or two negative comments from people saying, why are we talking about Fist Stimulus? You know why I'm talking about Fist Stimulus? Because I have a thousand gazillion viewers who are on SSI and SSDI, and they waited since the day of the election for this money. They were promised it by the president. And if you think I'm going to drop their subject because you want to only hear your subject, oh no. I am covering every subject that I help every viewer. This is not a channel where I only deal one subject for one viewer. SSI viewers have been my, have absolutely had my back and I've had their back since day one. So I am watching your story by the minute because SS200 did not happen and this is something that's absolutely wonderful. It's coming up in the second half of this video, so stay with me. But let's get some money and that's what I want you to do. That's what this channel does. It's starting to really become it now in July 2020, much like December 2020. In December 2020, second stimulus was not yet passing. And we were heading to Christmas. People needed money. We were in the middle of the pandemic. And I stepped up. I got viewers a quarter million dollars. I got viewers like Tyrone, $15,000 for his family for, for rent. Well, we're doing it again. We're doing it as a family, and you're killing it. If you're in the live chat, jump in right now and say the money you've got. If Nisi's in there, say it again. You got that $23,000. That includes $20,000 $20, of rent, thousands of dollars for utilities and SNAP. If you're Art and you're in that live chat, post the three items you got. He got rent, utilities, and SNAP. And snap. If you're John and got that $12,000, wave your hand on the live chat. Uh, he is a waveable person. <laughs> I like the check. Uh, <laughs> if you're one of the viewers, countless viewers who are getting ten to $12,000 of rent, jump in the live chat. If you got in anything, if you got in one penny, jump in the live chat. Viewers are getting nine to $12,000 of rent. They're getting 
when I thought that rent was $5,000, four to six months of rent, I was wrong. I thought utilities was a few hundred dollars. They're getting, viewers are getting $3,000 for utilities from this channel. I felt that Snap, you know, maybe be, be you know, $100 a month. Viewers are getting six to $7,000 daily, routinely on Snap. And of course, we have a high end, like $12,000 for John. It's absolutely incredible. And I want you to get that money as well. This is where you need it. This is where you're going to get it. And this is what we do in this channel. Uh, we do not track checks. We cash checks. And I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans in spring of 2020 when their homes were being on the on the brink and their businesses. And I saved their homes, their businesses, and their employees' homes. So get that pen and paper ready. Here we go. We're going to get different pots of money. And each place has different eligibility. So if you reach out to one and one says no, don't worry, reach out to the next. They got the money there. And you're going to get that pen and paper ready. If it must be a Crayola crown, then this is blue. It is not muddled, murdered, or mushled anything. It's not mushy either. It's a beautiful blue. So don't say it's mushy bluey. <laughs> it's not teal. We don't do teal either. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, we're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. Your state hall, your state house authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You, or mortgage assistance or utility assistance because of COVID. Yeah, don't say words they don't know, like stimulus. They don't know that word, or a Mitch's mixtape track list. They don't know that word. They don't. They don't want to know that word. <laughs> now, if you are in the live chat and you sort of know what the songs Mitch would probably drop on his rap album, drop in the comments. I see your humor, Scott Watson. I you, I know you got a joke for this one, so jump, jump in the live chat or across the board. But congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful money for rent, and the viewers are getting ten to twelve thousand dollars. I want you to get this money. Go get it. The next pot of money is Snap. Now. If you are a viewer who qualifies for a stimulus check, you got the third stimulus check, and you've not gone out to Snap, I don't know what's going on here. You need to get Snap. What's going on here? <laughs> Snap is money for food. Why are you paying for food when the federal government will pay for your food? Snap is wonderful. It pays for your food, and it's from the federal government. And if you qualify for it, why not get it? It alleviates hundreds of dollars a month on bills that this pays for. How do you get it? Go, reach out to the Department of Agriculture. Congratulations, Lynn Glenn, who got it for herself, her son, and her mom. And Gail, who got it as well. If you're on the live chat, you got Snap posted right now. Congratulations, of course, to John, who got $12,000 for it. How much does it pay? Well, family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $12,000 a year. Yes. Imagine if $12,000 of bills alleviated and paid for by the federal government. It just changes your life. So why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. 15% is a lot. Now, remember, it's not retroactive. So if you wait five weeks to apply and you're just sitting back and say, I'll get to it. Well, that's free money. Go get it. <laughs> And congratulations to the viewers who got it. And you're killing it. We're only 12 minutes in this video. We're going over $16,000 for SNAP for a family for in Hawaii, $5,000 for rent. Well, that's been disproven. Viewers are getting ten dollars to $12,000 for rent. But I got another pot of the money, and it's starting right now. It's the refund check back from your states. States have been ordered to return money back to you due to overpayment of unemployment benefits. The states have been ordered to return that money, and one viewer got $5,000 for this. How do you get it? Direct deposit. When are you getting it? Well, reach out to your respective state and say, hey, state, where's that refund check due to computer error uh, of my unemployment benefits? Uh, and can you track it this time with a computer that actually works? And finally, the last part of the money is the refund check from IRS for that 2020 tax return. If you're on the live chat and you've got to post it, this type of information really helps viewers because they see other people getting it. So that viewer doesn't say, did anyone get it? Yeah, the person just posted, they just got it. It also helps me because we see the numbers. In the case of Snap and Rent, we see the numbers. They're sometimes more than I thought. It finally inspires other people to go get the money. This is viewers helping viewers in its truest form. All right, how much, when, and where? Let's go over the details. First, let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise, in the mail. When? This month. Congratulations to Margaret, Cod, and Michael, who got this as well. Uh, can you track it? Yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go to iris.gov, do a username search, uh, do a transcript search with your username, password, and your social security number. And it will reveal stuff that you never know, never knew. Stuff that um, you may not want to know. <laughs> it will reveal the uh, tax return you file, the taxes you pay. It will reveal, um, really, um, when Mitch's mixtape drops, will it just sort of drop like a brick? <laughs> 
there. It just sort of drop like a lobster. Uh, and then finally, we'll reveal the tax return refund check you're getting. My goodness, can we top that? We can as we go into the second part of your four stimulus check update of 2021 today. Well, everything is in a much better place where it is today than where it was a week ago, two weeks ago, and certainly four weeks ago. Here's what you need to know. The Democrats represent that your fourth stimulus checks are in the recon, reconciliation, fourth stimulus recon, or fourth recon, whatever you want to call it. And those Democrats represent that it started with that in there and other stuff, lots of checks for lots of people, but also started with roads and bridges. And those roads and bridges in there made the whole recon very big. But even as it was big, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi said a thousand times the final vote, not the first vote, but the final vote would be dropped by July 4th. Here's what happened. They polled their members. They met. They met with the president day in, day out. Chuck, Nancy, and the president, and Jalal Paul, and realized the fourth stimulus recon is not passable with roads and bridges in there. It will not pass. Here's what you need to know. In the case of legislation, when you're calling something for a vote, if it doesn't pass, that's it. There's no do-over. It's not like, okay, I'll go back and just sort of make some changes. And, you know, no, it's you lose, you're done. you And you lost your recon ticket. So you're done. So they understood they had a problem. The solution, take roads and bridges out of the recon. Two Wednesdays ago was what I call the split day. They took the roads and bridges out of the recon. It was split. Suddenly, roads and bridges were split out. They were in the bipartisan. The bipartisan, that is what we call it, the bipartisan roads and bridges, whereas all your money that they represent is in there is still in the recon. Now, here is what was left. A two-path process, recon and bipartisan. Now, there were several massive benefits that came from this. The first one you just saw, number one, the recon now became passable because when you took roads and bridges out, the recon shrunk. There's a movie about this. Uh, honey, I Shrunk the Recon. Rick Moranis, wonderful movie. Go right on DVD. Well, the GOP and the uh, Democrats agree upon one thing. The recon became passable when that split occurred two Wednesdays ago and was not passable before then. So here is what a, Democrat, a uh, conservative author wrote in an op-ed in a top conservative political publication late last week. The higher the recon was, the harder it was to pass. But by allowing Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon and putting in the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon, price tag of the recon got smaller. Well, that's sort of obvious. In other words, the recon... Um, was made possible and passable by the bipartisan. <laughs> Sorry, Mitch, set you up. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's, there's no other way to say it. They have, the GOP has nothing to gain by blessing the bipartisan because now it has made the recon passable. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two, that now the recon was shrunk dramatically, because roads and bridges are very expensive. And now that those roads and bridges are out of the recon, the Democratic progressives were able to start putting in other things. Now, don't think it's going right back out. It's just going out just a little bit, because progressive checks are very, they're not that, not as costly as a road and bridge. And progressives now confirmed that they're adding things back in the recon. Now, let's go through some stuff new, to, new on this, new on this evening's L.A., Recons are written by Democrats for Democrats. Who writes them? The House Ways and Means Subcommittee, the House Budget Subcommittee. House subcommittees write the recon. Different House subcommittees, lead writers with the Senate subcommittees as co-authors, but sort of piggybacking behind them. They represent what they put in, and they can certainly take stuff out. Remember, there's no guarantees with these people. They can change their promises and take something out at any time. But they can also add stuff in. And are progressives adding stuff in? Yes, they confirm they are now adding stuff in since the split. So Representative Elon Omar says, we have a commitment that regardless of what happens with the bipartisan, Congress will give us a recon that goes as far as we want it. Wow. Then um, Ricky Torres gives us an example. He's a Democrat of New York who says, I refuse to vote for the bipartisan unless it's linked to a larger recon. And what has he put in there? He has put in there housing. Housing? Now, viewers immediately have asked me, what type of housing? What type of housing stimulus? I love housing stimulus. How does it work? I don't know. 
I don't know. The problem with subcommittees in Congress is they do not have a constitutional obligation to tell you what they're doing. So they don't have to appear on Ellen and give you a 20-page draft of what they wrote. They don't have a constitutional requirement to tweet out a copy of what they're doing or post on social media, you know, a draft or the vote or what it's on. So at any time, some of them may be doing it, but a lot are not doing it. And you just don't know. Could they be putting FPUC in there? Maybe. Could they be putting PUA in there? Maybe. Could they be putting um, student loan debt forgiveness? I've gotten that question a lot. Maybe. Never know with these people. Could they be taking the checks out, putting the checks in, taking them out? Maybe. Hard to say. Here is what you need to know is that all they have, all we have to go on is their representations. And they represent, they're putting stimulus checks in there. They're putting all these checks. The president has said the recon has checks for children, checks for medicine, checks for seniors, checks for climate, checks for EV, and Jalapal and all these other Democrats say that there's stimulus checks in there. But could there be other things in there? Absolutely, says Torres. So, And the Progressive Caucus has confirmed that they meet with the White House daily to talk about how big they want that recon to go. More about the document of the recon coming up later in this video. The protection of the document of the recon is critical. Remember, Democrats write the recon. The GOP has nothing to do with writing it. They don't want to be involved with it. They All they want to do is sit back and vote against it, <laughs> to which they lose. Uh, but the, the GOP has nothing to do with the document. Democrats write it, and Jalapal and the progressive protect it. Jalapal has said the president has praised Jalapal for protecting it. Obviously, Jalapal has stuff of her own in there. Why would she not be protecting it? And then Brian Schott says the, the president says that the progressive priorities in the recon are the White House's own priorities. Well, of course, the recon as it sits right now is only checks from the American people. The magnitude and the nature and how many different types of checks, we won't know until the final hour. Um, but here we go. This is exciting news. As Jala Paul wrote Schumer a letter saying, call the vote, Chuck, on the recon. The letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who are among the 100 plus House Democrats. 100. You heard that right. 100. Who said we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Can we top that? We can. As seven members of the House subcommittee wrote the president a letter. This is the House subcommittee. Which House subcommittee? House Ways and Means Committee. Wrote the president last saying, we're going to be writing monthly reoccurring stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Now, this is a sort of a very emphatic statement of what something's being done. But what's important is that's the committee that does it. The House Ways and Means Committee is one of the subcommittees that writes up the recon. And what is their task in the recon? They are solely responsible for stimulus checks and unemployment. And they're writing to the president, we're putting monthly reoccurring checks in the four stimulus package. Wow. Now, they can certainly change their mind and take it out, or they could change their mind from reoccurring to one. They can change their mind. That's why you always have to push purple power. You can never take anything from granted. These are elected officials. They change their mind all the time. But they also say they're giving you a fifth stimulus recon check. And remember, they did your third stimulus recon check in the spring of $1,400. They also wrote your first and second. Can we top that? We can. As tonight, we have breaking news out of Europe that it's official. Those countries have now signed on the dotted line of four raising the corporate minimum tax rate. Now, the president went overseas three weeks ago to have them appear in a formal pageantry where they, in, where they signed it. But it is now official as of today. Official has to say, the global minimum corporate tax rate is raised. This helps pass fourth stimulus recon. Why? Fourth stimulus recon is raised, is paid for by raising the corporate tax rate. The president was worried that business may move overseas to where the corporate tax rate is lower. That's no longer the issue. Those countries are now signed on the dotted line as of today. And so now it's easier to pass for stimulus recon because the provisions about international corporate taxes are no longer needed in fourth stimulus recon, which makes it easier to draft easier to vote on, and easier paths. The only holdout, holdout country that is really of notable uh, of significance today is Ireland. They refuse to sign. So there you go. This is huge news because it anchors for so much to the edge of the finish line. Can we top that? We can. As in the third part of this video, wow, we go over a lot of major breaking stuff tonight about the vote. The July 4th issue, the date, the bill, the drafting, how many votes, how many days, what's going on, who's where, what are they doing, and the problem creators. <laughs> That's coming up in the second, the second half of this video. Stay with me. You're going to see a big broadcast. But first, we're going to go also over the raising up of your benefits under fist stimulus. And also, if you need rent or utilities, please go get it.
If you're watching this video and you have tried to get rented utilities and you can't, you've tried to get Snap and you can't, please go get it. It's money. I don't want you to be sitting here and tracking a check. I want you to be cashing checks. If you can get $10,000 today, then imagine how different your life would be. Then go get it. How do you get it? Reach out to the volunteers. They are true embodiments of this channel. Viewers helping viewers. That's the embodiment of this channel. This is not a channel where one person helps themselves and that's it. So reach out to them. How do you find them? Go down in the description of this video. Find an emoji of a house. Uh, it's not Nancy's house. <laughs> Click the link. It'll send you over to the community page. It's news.la.com forward slash community. It has some kitty cats. They have a very nice hairstyle, the kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page of the volunteers. They're separated from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. They can help you get that rent, utilities, internet, and snap. Now, they may not be able to have, find you some muddle blue. <laughs> they may not be able to find you some teal. Uh, they may not be able to give you a range of color options. <laughs> But they can help. I'll certainly find you the rest of the stuff. And I'm back in 60 seconds with a few more exciting details. But first, here is the volunteers. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA in this extended massive broadcast with a lot of breaking news. You're going to hear for the first time on Evenings LA stuff that you did not even hear on Afternoons LA. Even though that show went almost 45 minutes long, there's more breaking news that's happening even tonight. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for making yesterday's videos the most watched on this channel in several months. We are on fire because we are the most in-depth. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. Never forget to like a video. It also uh, delivers some greatest hits from Liberace. <laughs> Just kidding. And consider becoming some, a member. People, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcium, and VIP. Let's get right to the breaking details. Oh, and stay on this video. It'll automatically take you to overnight's crypto right after this, then evening's crypto, and then sirloin at 8 o'clock. Let's get to the details. This stimulus is all about my beneficiaries. Um, some two negative people had said comments saying, can you stop talking about fist stimulus? No, I'm not, because my beneficiaries have been promised SS200 since middle of 2020, fall of 2020, and this is a big issue for them. So no, I'm not going to drop their subject to cover your subject. I'm going to cover every subject that's big, and this is huge. This is the raising up of your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and Survivor Benefits. One of the first things of this stimulus that some people want to focus on, however, is a stimulus check. Those House Ways and Means Committee members represent there will be a fist stimulus check next year. Second, the President has dedicated $1 billion to Social Security Administration. This is huge because it ensures that your benefits go out on time. It also ensures that your third and fourth stimulus checks and fifth stimulus checks go out on time as well. Finally, if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you need to do two things. File a tax return and request it on the line of the tax return. If you haven't done that, make sure you do it. Okay, so let's turn to the very, very, very exciting raising up of your benefits. This is a lot more than Elizabeth Warren's SS200. It's in fifth stimulus. This would be this fall, and it would go to a vote by around November-ish. 
this SSI reform is absolutely needed. And let's go over the details. First, they'll raise your benefits limits up. Then they'll remove the asset limits, add inflationary benchmark. Then remove the marriage penalty and remove the income exclusion. These are huge things. I mean, people have been penalized for being married for decades. I mean, these are big, big, massive issues. These are generation. This is a generational story. It's so huge. So no, I am not dropping the story for you. <laughs> uh, let's go over how this works. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. This is huge. So that's SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, multiple benefits. It's raised up one time. Then they give you a new benchmark under fiscal stimulus. That new benchmark would be inflation. That new benchmark of inflation, of course, is applied every December for the next year's benefits. Now, you want to hope that inflation rate is as high as it goes. Well, Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, says inflation is going to reach its highest point in December. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be the highest inflation rate of many, many generations. And it's exactly when they apply your benchmark. This is huge for so many reasons. Let's go over it. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they'll apply the benchmark. And if inflation is going up, going up, going up, and hitting that big point, how high is that big point? Well, Wall Street, based upon the jobs number on Friday, job creation, the lumber number on Wednesday, the job, the labor, uh, the housing number on Wednesday, the PPI and the CPI the week before, is still looking at about 10% inflation. So if it is 10% inflation, your benefits would be raised up 10%. Not just next year, lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Wow. If the year after that, the inflation rate is 2%, then you'll be at plus 2, te plus 10%. It's wonderful news. Next, the asset cap will be uh, ended. So if you've been prevented from having $3,000 on hand, now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand. And uh, maybe some um, KC Blue. No, it's not KC Blue. It's just Royal Blue. <laughs> and then you'll be able to uh, have the end of the income cap. You'll be able to work if you wish to and stay on benefits. And finally, the critical marriage penalty, which is absolutely been devastating for people for generations would go away. People will no longer lose benefits and no longer fear the marriage penalty and viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer worry about it. It would not be retroactive, however. That's fist stimulus. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to wonder, how are these people with that purple hawk next to their name in the live chat getting these big sums of money? They're members. Membership links at the top of the chat and pinned comment. It also says join under the video. By becoming a member, you're delivered daily a breakdown of all the big monies under third stimulus. When third stimulus was passed, I said, yeah, you get a $14 stimulus check, but you qualify for about $14,000. Would you rather have $1,400 or $14,000? Of course, $14,000. So consider becoming a member so you learn the big monies that are available for you under third stimulus. They're all application-based, and as soon as they came out, you have to be a Purple Hawk. I said, Hawk, Hawk, and get that money before everyone else. Well, it's still around, at least for now. So quickly become a member and get that money. All right, let's cut to fourth stimulus right now with this big behemoth of a finale starting this minute. So we have two things to do. We have a recon and we have a bipartisan. Now, let's go back to that July 4th comment from Schumer and Pelosi, said over a thousand times, over and over and over again. The final vote would be by July 4th. At the time in which they were saying that comment, they were referring to the recon, because that's all you had, the recon, which had roads and bridges in there. But it became obvious that if they called the vote by July 4th, the recon was not passable. They confirm it, the GOP confirms it. So that is why the vote could not happen by July 4th. Well, the next question is, well, now that they have taken the, the uh, roads and bridges out as of two Wednesdays ago and made the recon now passable, why not call the recon for a vote right now? Why wait? Because the the, the approach that, let me back up, the number of Democrats that are focusing on the subject matter say that you really have to have the bipartisan call for a vote in general proximity to when the recon is called for a vote. Yes, the recon has to go for a vote first or concurrently with the bipartisan. But if it goes before the bipartisan, it can't be like a month before the bipartisan. That does not show that that would not get enough votes. The Democrats would not get a com complete agreement on that. And that's clearly what the president does not want. He does not want something three months later getting for a vote. That is the second issue. The third issue then is, okay, so why not just start voting? 
is anything is everything ready? Here's what you need to know is that the recon by their representation, and of course they don't give us drafts of the recon or status updates of the recon. Their representation was the recon, which they had been working on for weeks, for months, is close to or done. So then what's wrong? Why not call the recon for a vote? Is the bipartisan not done? Ding, ding, ding. It hasn't even really gotten even traction to being close to being done. What's going on? Who's to blame? His name is the president. The president met with Shelley Moore Capito for three and a half, four weeks. And during those negotiations, she was the Republican negotiator. She never had a, a draft of a bill. She barely had pen to paper. She barely had a piece of paper. She had ideas and said this and that and this and that. Eventually it fell apart. Then the president met with a bipartisan group and they had a gentleman's agreement two Wednesdays ago. Is that a bill? No. Is it written up? No. So, but that's two Wednesdays ago, Allied. So what have they been doing since two Wednesdays ago? If I was there, I'd have it written for you in 24 hours. I got it. We did this in 2020. Allied, write the bill. Yes, these people, when they go to legislate or write something up, seem to take an ungodly amount of time. This is where you have to push purple power. The holdup for voting on the recon clearly is because the bipartisan has not been written. As of today, there's confirmation. The bipartisan bill has not been written. In fact, there's very little clarity about how much of the bipartisan has been written. But they are working on it. How quickly, how soon, they say in the next few days, next few weeks, but it's very sort of murky why this bipartisan is going slow. Purple power, you have to push. This is 2020 all over again, where people have said, okay, well, you know, we're going to do it this way, and then they don't start finishing the writing. You have to push, get them to write it, get it done. Number two, let's go over the, now that you understand the, the documents, let's go over what documents have to be finished. There are three documents, and there's three items that have to be passed. The bipartisan, number three, has to be written and finished. It's not written yet. That's the problem, is that the recon may be finished, but the bipartisan is not. The recon has a procedural, and the recon has a substantive. Now let's go over the vote. I was doing a thousand videos on this channel with the nine vote step, nine voting step process. And I haven't made them in two and a half weeks or three weeks. But I certainly see some comments by new viewers who jump in the chat that say, well, they didn't vote on July 4th. Can they vote on July 5th and get it done and send out the check on July 5th? Or can they just vote on July 6th and send it out and send it out on July 6th or send it out, vote on July 7th? Understand, <laughs> this is a democracy. This is the United States of America. Nothing could be... Nothing results with one vote in the United States to send out anything. The United States government was set up with a two-branch process, the, uh, excuse me, a two, 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 two divisions of the legislative branch process. It's called the House, and it's called the Senate. The House has to vote on something, and the Senate has to vote on something. There's some people that jump in the live chat thinking that this is sort of like an oligarchy like Russia, <clears throat> that just Vladimir Putin could just write it out and then say, I approve it, send out a check. No, you have to have votes. <laughs> you got this people on the House, you got the people on the Senate, they got to vote. So there's some people that are saying, oh, just you know, one day of voting, we're done. Now, I've done this video a lot, but I haven't done it in two and a half weeks, so I guess I got to bring it back. There's nine vote steps, nine voting steps to getting the recon voted on, and that's before you even get to the bipartisan. So let's go over the voting process. Remember, the only thing that's inverted is the direction because this recon, the agreement was it would start in the Senate and go to the House, and so is the bipartisan. So it would go from Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, then House, then President. Recon procedure has passed. Then you have to do recon substantive. Senate floor, Senate, uh, excuse me, Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, House, President. That's recon substantive. That's now passed. Look how many steps that was. That's just, that's on one day. That's on one step. That's on one vote. Next, you got to do bipartisan. <laughs> Same thing. Uh, just don't have to do it twice. House sub, excuse me, Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, House, floor, President sign up. So for anyone that jumps into the live chat and says, what day is the vote? It's not one vote. It's three bills. And three bills are not, no bill in the United States, <laughs> as people used to say in 2020. We had that Schoolhouse Rock music video. Um, it's not a bill. It's not a bill. I'm sitting on Capitol Hill. Yeah, there's 
you have to vote on the House, you have to vote on the Senate. Uh, is, nothing is done with one vote on one day. <laughs> so can they do it in July? They still can do it in July. Um, here is finally the surprise twist tonight is the problem creators. And they really are the epitome of the problem creators. They call themselves the problem solvers, they're problem creators. What did they say late today? The problem creators said late today that we they would not support um, waiting for the recon to vote on second, that they want the bipartisan to vote on first. Uh, they're sort of like a disgrace to their own party. I mean, really. I mean, any 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 problem creator who is of the Democratic Party and says that they want the bipartisan to be voted on first, they know that's going to kill the recon. Why would they even say that? That's not bi that is not the problem creators. They try to portray themselves as bipartisan. That's not bipartisan. That that is that is complete GOP that it would kill the recon. So, do am I worried about that? No. Um, that they, they, they just have, I don't know. I think they have an ax to grind with Nancy. <laughs> I just think they have an ax to grind with all of us. Uh, it, 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 so I'm not worried about that, but I just had to tell you that news. Um, finally, what's important to know is you have to push purple power. And this is the final big message. In March of last year, before this channel was launched, the federal government passed the EIDL grant, the law law, L-A-W, said, within three days of applying, you will get a $10,000 EIDL grant. Millions of Americans applied for that $10,000 grant. And within three days, millions of Americans got nothing. They got no response. In fact, the federal government never explained to them where was the $10,000. Three days passed, nothing. Three weeks passed, nothing. Four weeks passed, nothing. Ultimately, they became my viewers when this channel launched in April of last year. And between, in April, there was no money. Finally, in May, money starts showing up. And they fought tooth and nail to make sure they got their money. But they had patience. I had viewers locked in something called the Vortex. My original viewers were locked in a March 30th Vortex, an April 8th Vortex. It referred to people who applied for something and watched as other people after them got paid and they got nothing. You know how horrible that is? That other people apply for something after you and you get nothing? Do they lose hope? No. I had their back every single step of the way and made sure they go to the very end. I had viewers like Shervin who helped birth this channel and all of its spirit who lived out of his car to ensure he'd get $25,000. I originally said that was 15000 I think it's 25000 from SBA when they offered him $4,000. I had viewers like Kevin Lee who fought to ensure that he got every money to save his farm and, and his business and got everything. I had viewers out of Florida. When PUA went live, no one had seen PUA. I made the very first few videos on PUA. And Florida didn't go live with PUA for two months. People didn't get anything. They stayed with me. We, they fought with me. And they got $15,000 after four, six, eight weeks. Hawaii, Texas, it was over and over again. States that were slow. Yesterday, some people sort of passing through said, oh, we didn't get called for a vote on July 4th. I give up. It's been 24 hours till July 5th. I give up. Really? That's not the purple power spirit. That's not the purple power spirit. 24 hours you gave up. Come on. No, that's just not. That's not smart. Not the way you do it. You have to push these people. Yes, they may not be, uh, uh, it may not be uh, appropriate for them to take more than a week to write up a bipartisan agreement. You absolutely have to push them. They have done this to, to us before. You have to, have to push them. There is no excuse for them to take three weeks to write a bipartisan agreement. That's number one. Number two, you have to push them to ensure they keep their promise and put that stimulus check in there and not change their mind and take it out. You have to push them to ensure that the recon goes for a vote first. But you absolutely cannot sit back and say, where's my check with that one day vote and that one moment and it has 20 24 hours has passed. I haven't seen anything. Uh, I give up. That's not the viewers of this channel, folks. Mm -mm. I have viewers, and they have been my viewers since day one. They're still my viewers, who fought tooth and nail for every single penny where it was problems of unemployment, problems with EIDL, problems with rent, and they got the money. If you have not gotten rent and you qualify for it, you need to get it right now. If you qualify for utilities and you have not gotten it, you need to get it right now. If you qualify for SNAP, you need to get that money right now. If you qualify for anywhere from $1,000 to $23,000 like Nisi, and you've gotten nothing and you're just sitting back and saying, I'm giving up after 24 hours, then maybe it wasn't really much of anything you cared. 
because there's money out there for you. And I have volunteers and viewers helping, trying to help you get the money. This is the spirit of this channel. People fighting for money and fighting every day. And that's what we do here. And with that, I encourage you to join me next on Overnight's Crypto, which is right after this video. And then we go into Evening's Crypto at 7 o'clock and Sir Loin is back. Some people want to laugh. Some people don't want to laugh. I got it. But Sir Loin is there and with a little bit of uh, lactose intolerance for some others. <laughs> and with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that like button right now as well. Never forget to like the button. But subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record in one year. Next stop, 1 million. And also like this video. Consider becoming a member so you get access to the big money that is in Third Stimulus. I want you to get this money. You need the money. 10000 12000 8000 4000 6000 It's all there. Go get it. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA Football.